Hey, what's going on guys? Vex in this trials here, and today I'll be breaking down the best assault rifles in Rainbow Six Siege. Starting off, we have the L85. This is a good A tier. It's very solid, really consistent, and I have no issues with it. Now, it does have some minor drawbacks being only on a few operators. The operators that it is on, it's incredibly good operators, and it's still an incredibly good gun, but it's not really S tier. It's lacking a little bit in some capacity. Next up is the AR-33. Even though this is my personal favorite, I have to put it in B tier just because it lacks the ammo of its big brother, the L85. And some people might not like it. I think it has incredibly low recoil. Some people don't tend to believe that. But overall, very consistent gun. And I would definitely highly recommend bringing it on Flores because I think it pairs very well with him and his kit. Next up is Thermite's AR. Thermite's AR is at B tier. It hit tar, but shoots slow. And for that, I have to give it B. Next up is the AK-12. Very consistent, well-rounded, and probably the best assault rifle in the game, if not one of them. That's why it's getting a steady S tier. It's incredibly good, very versatile, and hits like a truck. I have no issues with it, and it comes with a great number of sights that also boost the gun's capabilities, and for that reason, it is S tier. Next up is the F2. The F2, it's a good gun. It's a great gun, even. But unfortunately, with the change where it's removing the foregrip, and the recoil being even worse now, I can't give it anything higher than a C. The gun absolutely shreds at close range if you use it like an SMG, but it's an assault rifle. It's not meant to be used like an SMG, and for that reason, I have to give it C. Next up is the G36C. I like the G36C, but it is a B-tier gun. It just shoots too slow, it's clunky, and takes up a lot of your screen. It's not great in most scenarios, and honestly, I really want to pick it over the gun that the other operators that this gun has like i just really want to pick it over the counterpart for those operators such as iana and ash i'd much rather have the arx or the r4c next up is the iq commando this gun recently just got a buff and i'm going to be putting it in a tier i think the gun is incredibly strong i think the gun hits incredibly hard it's a very consistent weapon and it is on some good operators i think the sight selection is very robust and i think it is just a well-rounded gun it does shoot a little bit slow i can't complain as it is an a tier gun, and I would definitely bring it on the operators that are present. I know IQ has it, and for that, I think it is a pretty good gun to bring on IQ, even though she's a little bit underrated. Maybe a video on that soon. Next up, we have the AUG. The AUG is C tier. I know it recently got a buff, and I know it is relatively robust in terms of the sights and barrel attachments, but it's just not that good of a gun. It takes up too much of your screen, and I don't really favor it over the other selections that are brought with the operators that has this weapon. So, it is a C tier weapon. If you think I'm wrong in the comments below specifically about the AUG, let me know. Next up is Jaeger's R4C. It's A tier. I give it A tier because the recoil on this gun has just been just, uh, they've changed it so many times and it's just good enough. I don't think it's S tier, even though previously without the recoil changes, it would solidly land itself there. And unfortunately, we're not in that uh, meta anymore. So it, it's A tier. It's good. It's well-rounded. It hits hard and it's consistent. I don't have any complaints about it. Although I do wish it had old recoil, but that's just a personal preference. Next up is the Ash R4C. Even though this gun does kick a little bit, it is still incredibly good and is the definitive pick for entry players. If you are an Ash player, you're going to want to bring the R4C because of its consistency. Next is the Buck AR. The Buck AR is a very solid S tier. This gun has a decent fire rate, hits incredibly hard, and obviously has Buck's secondary attachment, which most other guns don't have. And I know Buck is a little bit of an outlier with that, but it's still incredibly good. I'm mean, giving it an S tier because I think it's well rounded. I think it shoots pretty consistently. It's, it's a very decent fire rate. Nothing to complain about there. So it's going to be S tier for that reason. Next up is the Para. Even though I'm a Capitao simp, the Para is a C tier weapon. It just shoots too slow. Even though it hits incredibly hard, I can't really justify bringing it over most other weapons, especially on Capitao specifically, his LMG, when it shoots that slow and takes a long time to reload. No one really discusses it, but the reload on that weapon is very long for not much of a reason. I would make sense if the trade-off was like it hits incredibly hard, which I mean, it does hit pretty hard for an AR, but not hard enough to warrant a reload that is that long. Next up, we have Jackal's C7E. The C7E is an incredibly good gun and goes in S tier. I have no complaints about it. It has a proper fire rate, good sight selection, good barrel selection, and under barrel selection, has a decent ammo count, and is a really good AR. I don't think it's statistically the best AR, definitely feels and sounds like one of the best ARs, and to be honest, it really does perform like that as well. If you are lucky enough to play Jackal in your games, I think this is an incredibly good pick and an incredibly good option. Even though his PDW is a good secondary pick, honestly, the C70 is where you need to be playing. And with that being said, I do wish I would see it on more characters. I really hope in the future we do get another attacker with it or a reworked attacker with it because I think it is really good and brings a lot to the table and is a really well-rounded weapon. Next up is Zofia's M27. This is going to go in B tier. The recoil nerf really kind of hit it down. And honestly, it's just not that good of a weapon anymore. There are weapons that far surpass it. And even though you do see a lot of Zofia still brought, you do really just see her being brought with the LMG, even though LMG's also got a nerf. I still think it's a good weapon, but I don't think it's as good as it used to be. And therefore it is B. Previously, it may have been an S or even an A tier weapon, but now it's definitively a B. And I really think you should avoid it. Next up is Lion's AR. This is the 
big vector, <laughs> if you will. This is an incredibly good weapon. It has 50 rounds, which makes it one of the few ARs that actually does have that ammo capacity, has no recoil, in my opinion, and it does hit pretty consistently. I really do enjoy bringing this online, and I do hope more operators in the future get access to it because it is a lot of fun to play with, and it is a very versatile weapon. Next up is Mavs AR. I think this is an S tier weapon. It's consistent, has 30 bullets, and really does hit hard. It adds a lot to his kit, and just like the Lion AR, I wish to see it on more operators going into the future or reworked ones because it is a lot of fun to play with. But one slight issue with it that I'll mention, even though it is just a slight issue, is much like the Para, this gun has a long reload and sometimes the reload gets bugged. I've noticed it personally. And if you've noticed that his AR has also been bugged when reloading sometimes, leave it in the comments below because I think it happens more than most people admit. Next up is the Type 89. This is an A tier weapon. It hits incredibly hard, fast fire rate, blazing fast fire rate quick reload, but the only issue is it has 21 bullets. If this gun had 25 or even 30 bullets, it would easily be at the top of S tier, but unfortunately, just because of that small little drawback only having 21 bullets, it is A tier. Next up is Nomad's AKM. I think this is an S tier weapon because it has 40 bullets and it does hit pretty hard. Now the reload is long on this weapon and it shoots a little bit slow, but I think it makes up for the fact that it does have 40 bullets in the mag and is pretty consistent all things considered, with a low recoil and a really nice sight selection. Next up is Finca's Spear. I believe this is an S-tier weapon all day of the week. It's incredibly, incredibly accurate without any recoil, so it's basically a laser, and the reload is pretty fast, and there's some good skins for it too. If you want to throw in, this gun might have some of the best skins in the game, if not the best skins. So in the comments below, let me know what your favorite skin is for this beard, because there's actually quite a few. Next up is Blackbeard's AR. This is the first F-tier. Listen, I give a lot of you know, just a lot of crap to Blackbeard. I don't think he's very good. I don't think he's very consistent. I don't like him as he, as just playing him. I don't like playing against him. There's just not a whole lot I like about it. And that really also extends to his weapons. His AR has to be one of the worst, if not the worst ARs in the game. It shoots incredibly slow. The reload is incredibly long. It does not have the ammunition to really make a lot of sense to bring it. And for most cases, it's just a terrible pick. Blackbeard desperately needs a rework. And I really hope they rework his weapons as well because they are terrible. If Blackbeard had something along the lines of the Jackal AR or the Grim AR, I think it would make a lot more sense, but unfortunately, because he doesn't, I just can't really bring him. It's just, it's, he's just so terrible all around. Next up is the ARX. This is an S tier weapon, low recoil, handles fantastically. No, just, just laser beam, absolute laser beam. I can't stress enough how little recoil this gun has. The only downside and the reason why it's an A tier, not S tier, is it only has 20 bullets. If this weapon had 30 bullets, this is an easy S tier all day long. And hey, listen, Ubisoft, you want, want to make one change? Yo, give this gun a small, a little tiny, like just 10 extra bullets. Just give it an extended mag. Listen, no one has to know, okay? We can keep it a secret. Uh, and I, I think it is, is a fantastic weapon. I would highly recommend bringing it. It's, a, it's essential on Ayana. On Nomad, you do have a little bit more playroom. Next up is the Commando. This is an S tier AR, even though it doesn't look like an AR. It is a subcompact assault rifle. I'm not too sure the ter terminology or the technicality of it, but it is a small assault rifle. It hits hard, shoots fast, and has one of the coolest reload animations in the entire game. Your character's like a little like a little flip. He, he hits like a little trick with it, uh, which is really entertaining. Has some awesome skins, but more specifically, it is a laser beam, and it is a very consistent weapon at any range. Quick amendment to the AR tier list after going back and recording. I actually figured out that I actually missed some ARs because they were not in the proper place in, in, in the tier list down here. So with that being said, we're going to be putting the Zero AR, S tier, really good. A little bit of recoil, a little bit of a weird, funky ammo count, but it is incredibly good, very consistent. Probably one of my favorite ARs. I know I've said that a lot about a lot of them, but it is just really, really good, all things considered. And the other amendment being the one and only Gridlock AR, which I have to find because the silhouette is, it looks just like a, an SMG, which is why I missed it the first time around. Right here, that's going to be a A tier weapon or maybe even a B-tier weapon, probably an A-tier weapon. It's good. It has roughly the exact same stats as the G36E, uh, and for that reason, it's A-tier. It's not anything crazy. It's not anything, like, bad. It just feels really good, and I would really actually like to see this AR on more characters in the future and more operators, maybe even a defender, because I think it would be an interesting play style for a defender. So that's it. That's the Assault Rifle tier list. I am sorry that I missed those two, but I didn't expect the Zero AR to be at the very bottom and the, uh, and the Gridlock AR to be and the SMGs, that is my fault. I fixed it now so we can continue on with our lives. And that's it. That is all the Assault Rifles and Rainbow Six Siege ranked. There's a lot of S tier ones because a lot of them are actually pretty good. A decent amount of A and B tier ones because, hey, something has to fall in the pack. A few good C tier ones, which are really situational and honestly kind of kind of unfortunate that they've landed there. And one F tier one because Blackbeard's Assault Rifle is actually just criminal. It is terrible and just never bring it. These are the best and worst assault rifles in Rainbow Six Siege ranked. If you want to watch another video, click this video here on the screen where we go over the best and worst SMGs ranked.